Hello and welcome back to Mount and Blade Warband. Now I know I didn't release an episode yesterday for the Native series as I was unable to do so. Did manage to get one out on my War the Usurper series though. So that seems to be the more popular option for now, but I do plan on continuing this just to let you guys know in advance. Last time, we got quite a couple of developments in our army. And so, especially Clethy, who's our first companion. So let's keep things going. Do have a couple of bandits, and still need to find the boyar. Oh no, this is a separate... This boyar, Tysa, is who I still need to find. And I have to go back to Slash Castle. So let's see what we do. Boyar Harsh. I might just look around for some bandits, I suppose, kill them, build up my army a little further. Don't get involved, no, I'm not gonna get involved in this, but, well, actually. No, I can't even get involved if I wanted to. Celeste Castle up, up here, isn't it? Wasn't it? Oh no, it's right here. <laughs> Passing it. We are Kumipa. I do not remember if I even gave him a voice. <laughs> so I'll just not give him one now. Uh, we, we, we meet again, Harold the Bard. What is it? Bring a message from King Yaraglep. Oh, let me see that. Well, well, well. It was good of you to bring me this, Harold the Bard. Take my seal as proof that I've received it and give my regards to King Yaraglep when you see him. Any tasks? Any? Come on. No! <laughs> okay. I am a messenger. I'm not even a bard anymore. Going back and forth and delivering things. Where's Yelbeggy? Is it Yelbeggy? Yelbeck, maybe? It was a Nordic castle. It was, wasn't it? Don't see anything Nordic there. Oh no, is it something south, maybe? Did they take some territory down south? Don't see anything. Yelbeggy Castle, there it is. That one. Okay. First I need to where's Slesk? Oh, is things go are things going on? Where am I? Oh, I accidentally clicked on something. Vagers in the Nords have made peace. Well I made a I did a mistake there. Oh, here's some sea raiders trying to catch up to me, and they're faster. Tabazek! <laughs> Get me recruits. Two groups of sea raiders do not bode well. Love to get some. Oh no, they got me! I will drink from your skull. Fun with the old Schwarzenegger voice for the Norns. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you. I will fight. Oh, only twelve of them. Okay, so we only have to face one band at a time. Do you have my cavalry now? Will accompany me. Don't just charge in blindly. Well, I'll have you hold here. Hold. Hold. Let's go scout out the enemy. Oh, there they are. Cavalry, hold back here. Oh, whoop, whoops. Cavalry, back there. Have you charge down the hill? For now, let our archers take care of them. Charge! Infantry and cavalry, go get them! Got them with a slice! Another slice! Slice and dice! Let's get them! Yes! Yes! Another one! And we win! Looks like we lost one man. Still have a group of sea raiders behind us, but we did really well. We lost a footman. Tattered nomad vest gives me leg protection. I'll keep it, but I won't use it. Rusty battle axe! Well, I don't think I'll need it, because I have a good thing going on. I will take that nasal helmet, though. Big improvement on my current cap. And it looks cooler. And a Nordic shield! Always better. And another one for Clethy. Tattered leather boots don't do me much. Rusty Nordic sword, no. No, no, no. But good to get some more kit. 
get these guys. 18. <laughs> they are they just naturally have the Schwarzenegger voice. Let's go after them. It should be this seems to be the same exact map, probably because they were like two steps behind me. So we'll just set up in about the same place. Which was here, I think. Yes, they're coming in from the... Actually, we can set up a little further ahead, maybe. No, no. Stay here. Hold your ground. Archers back there. Cavalry way back there. We'll hold the hill behind us. Actually, go over there. So I want you to do a charge into the side. Here, my... Right here. Go, cavalry. Ooh, let me run here so they they don't flank us. They follow me. Good job. Charge in. They have throwing weapons. One goes down and another. Take out their archers. No, you don't get to hit my men. Hit my horse instead. Hold <laughs> Not that many times. Not to kill him. Careful now. My horse is very damaged. Where is he? Is that the last one? Running? I'm gonna run him down. Like the cur he is. Got him. Oh, there's one more. He is attacking, actually. This one isn't even routing. He's fighting. Got him. And my one-handed proficiency up to a hundred. Good. Victory, man. We lost seven guys, though. Footmen, a veteran, no. And a skirmisher. Loot better be worth it. And I don't have space for loot. Throw some of this useless stuff away. A nasal helmet. Oh, it's the same as mine. Okay. Go to Clefi. A proper battle axe. Don't need those boots, probably. Ship the maces. Wood here is not worth much. Hmm. I suppose a lot of this stuff isn't worth much. Here you go. Take that, 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 and that. And I'll take that battle axe. Take back those shoes since they actually are worth quite a bit. The sword. Another battle axe. Bow and arrow. Tattered leather boots. Those Nordic shields have got to be worth more than these. So I'll take away every leather covered shield to take Nordic ones. A nasal helm. Yeah, it's over the cap of fur. Some other boots. I think that's fine. We'll leave things there. Upgrade our men. Vajor veteran has upgraded. Make him a horseman, I suppose. How many ar uh, archers do we still have? Not many. Two archers. But we do need more veterans. Uh, let's improve our intelligence, and we'll put one point into inventory management, and one into trade? Yeah, let's, let's go trade. Increase the money I make. Bazik, recruit some volunteers. Good, five more men. Now we'll go, we'll go to Rivicheg, because I do want to... So let me scout it out. See how many men are there. 300. They've already reinforced it, though. So nothing I could even do there. Oh, this should be quite a bit of gold. Ooh, need to keep the nasal helmet. And one of the shields, I believe, for Clethy. Forgot to give them immediately. Okay, I'll get it back real soon. Here we go. Nordic. Battered, battered, battered. Here's one normal one. Did I want to keep any weapon? Maybe let's keep the battle axe for her, actually. Where is it? Not the chipped one, the proper one. I had one good one, didn't I? Did I not take it? I had a proper battle axe. Where'd it go? Did it rust on the way here? <sighs> I guess we'll take the chipped one, then. Oh, here it is. It's that one. <laughs> Went blind for a second there. Yeah, I'll keep that, that, and that for Clethy. 
Everything else is not as good as what she has. Then I'll take some food as well, because stocks are running on empty. There you go, now we have plenty of food, plenty of dinars, and good gear. Okay, here's your new helm. Oh, you can't use it. Why not? Requires nine strength. I'll hold on to it, and when you have nine strength, I'll give it to you. How about that? Nordic shield. Yeah, you'll be fine like that. At least for now, you have some throwing weapons. So that. What's Clethy listed as? She listed as an archer. Infantry. Interesting. Oh, some sea raiders here. Let's go after them. Less talking, more raiding. <laughs> I will drink from your skull. Let's get him. Let's get him. Well, calm down. I have quite a bit of cavalry now. Nice. I do like this field of battle. No, everyone follow me. Where are you going? Who are you? He listed as a veteran. Veterans already are on horses. I thought a horseman would be on a horse. I guess not. Cavalry back there. Or actually go over there. To the edge. If you can. Archers. Fire at will. There's Clethy throwing her javelins. It's gotta be here now. No, it's some random guy. Charge in now. Oh, good job. My cavalry charges. Damage them. Good job. This guy... Oh, he was reacting. Got him. Get a nice crossbow bolt off. Got him. Oh, it stopped. Our cavalry charge really took all of them out. With the old saber. Got him. Easy. Great job, men. Minimal casualties. We lost only a recruit. Ooh. And a Bernie. This is a much better piece of gear. It's mailed. Actually, so that's good. Chip Nordic Sword. Still fairly good, actually. It's better than the Nomad Saber. It's got a little less reach and a little less speed. But it does have thrust where the Saber does not. I'll keep the Saber for now. But not bad. Take your new boots. Oh, here's a normal Nordic sword. Why is that one better? Why is the chipped one better? Hmm. A lot of good stuff from Sea Raiders. Much better than the Tundra Bandits. You're all footmen. Yeah, you're basically horsemen, aren't you? Guess you have to be infantry to be infantry. So let's upgrade you to infantry so that I have some infantry. So I would talk with you. Can I see your equipment? Tell me about yourself. No. But you do have riding. No, you don't. Why are you on horses? Wasn't he on a horse? Was I seeing things? Huh. Well, mercenary horsemen is obviously what I want. Since those guys are only in there for cavalry. Go back to Rivercheck, check the tavern there, and sell these new wares. Actually, real quick, Clethy. I have some new things for you. Don't I? Take these new leather boots, they look better. Range 34, range 36. You can use this as a pole arm, or this just works as an axe, a one handed. I think the pole arm weapon is better, the javelins. Yeah. They appear to be slightly worse ranged, so that's not too much giving up. She can't use that either. Your saber's pretty bad, so here's you can have this chip Nordic sword, which for whatever reason is better than the regular Nordic sword. 
There you go. Use that. Neither of us have gloves, though. To Rivercheg, sell all my wares again. Should have my yeah, my axe is still there. There you go. Now off to the tavern so to meet new people, see new faces. Oh, is that who I think it is? Get to him in a second. Wandering troubadour first. What is it you do? Oh, you're the poet guy. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't need a poet. Traveler? Nope. But you, my friend Jeremus. Greetings, fellow traveler. Perhaps you can help me. How's that? I shall tell you, but know that it is a tale of gross iniquity. I warn you in advance, lest you are of a choleric temperament, and so become incensed at the injustice done unto me that you do yourself a mischief. I am by training a natural philosopher, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed doctors of my university to make living as an itinerant surgeon. I was hired by a merchant of the city to cure his son, who fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. I successfully trepanned the patient's skull to reduce the cranial swelling. But the family ignored my advice to treat the ensuing fevers with a tincture of willow bark, and the boy died. The father, rather than reward me for my efforts, charged me with sorcery. Me, a philosopher of nature. Such is the ignorance and ingratitude of mankind. The lord of this castle is reluctant to place me under arrest, but I am anxious to move on elsewhere. Well, you could travel with us, but you'd have to be able to fight in our battle line. As I told you, I'm a surgeon, not some silk-robed university physician who has never touched a body. And get my hands dirty. I have treated every variety of wound that can be inflicted by the hand of man. Before I was a surgeon, I was a student, so you may be sure that I have inflicted wounds as well as healed them. Then welcome to our company, doctor. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. He doesn't even want gold. Great! We've got ourselves a surgeon! Yes! It's really fantastic. Do need to get you some gear, maybe, at some point, but... Actually, tell me about yourself so we can see just... And I can see your equipment. Oh, yeah, because you're, you're a companion. He's not great off the start, but he's really good. He's, he's pretty decent. 3-4-3. Three, three. In wound treatment, surgery, and first aid, he will heal all my armies. Well, my army, I suppose. Udiniad. Let's go there. Recruit some more volunteers. A lot of sea raiders here. Should I just charge them? Keep fighting sea raiders. That's the way to go, I suppose. That's what I'm going to do now, because... How much am I paying, actually? 369. Oof. Because there's a boyar here who can tell me more about the other boyar. And I do need to go... I guess I'll just fight him on the way to Yelbegi. Ask about boyar Tysa there. But first fight these sea raiders. I will drink from your skull! <laughs> I will drink from your skull! I'm not afraid of you, let's go. Everyone follow me. Now we're, get back here, you're a caravan guard. I need to check this cavalry. Horseman, horseman. I could have sworn it said veteran and he was on horseback. You. You're... Why do you have a horse? That is so odd. The veterans... Yeah, there's a veteran right there. And they're not on horseback. Why is this guy on horseback? Oh god. Oh, I didn't... I didn't line him up. Horsemen, fall there. Quickly. You can charge them from behind. Oh, God. Cavalry, charge them. Come on out. Oh, no. Not a polearm. Oh, get him. Get him. Good shot. Write him down. Just a couple of men because I took too long. Wondering why my Vajir veteran has a horse. Which I still want to know about, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why he has a horse. He shouldn't. Just have an infantryman with a horse. Where is he? Did he die? No. His horse is dead. Well, we won. We lost two men. <gasps> One veteran. Not the horseback veteran. He was fantastic. <laughs> Won't take these men. Will I take the farmers? What did they become? Watchmen. No, thank you. Don't need you. 
I want an army of Vagiers. Nomad vests, crude nasal helmets. Getting quite a bit of good stuff to give our companions. Major recruit footman, skirmisher the archer. Hmm, what will you become? I suppose more skirmishers. Major are best in archery, so let's get some more. You, Boyar, want to talk? Let's talk to the Boyar. Oh, oh, come on now. Boyar Krahask. And there's another Boyar here, Vlan. I wish to ask you something. I want to know the location of someone. That is. Hmm, who did I need? Boyar Tysa. He's been taken captive. Okay. Fine, and the other one was a Nord, was a Nord, so you won't even be able to tell me anything. Oh, here it is. This is what I wanted. Wait. Uh, <laughs> wait, no. Uh, is this a one-time offer? Are you are you at war with the Nords? Will I still be able to do the the quest I have if I join you? Uh. As it happens, Harold the Bard promised King Yarrick Lek that I would hire a camp a company of mercenaries for an upcoming campaign. I'm interested, please tell me more. I can offer you a contract for one month. At the end of this period, it can be extended on on a monthly basis. The initial sum of 300 dinars will be paid to you to seal a contract. So that, you will receive wages from King Yaraglik each week according to the number and quality of soldiers in your company. Still have your rights to battlefield loot and salvage, as well as any prisoners you capture, or can be very profitable at times. What about my duties as a mercenary? Duties. There are only a few, none of them difficult. The very first thing is to declare your allegiance, an oath of loyalty to our cause. Once that's done, you shall be required to fulfill certain responsibilities. You will participate in military campaigns, fulfill any duties given to you by your commanders. Most of all, you shall attack the enemies of our kingdom wherever you might find them. Can I hold on to any castle I take? Only loyal vassals of King Yaraglek can own lands and, be ca and castles. You understand a simple mercenary cannot be trusted with such responsibility. However, after serving for some time, you may earn the right to swear homage to King Yaraglek and become his vassal. Then you would be rewarded with a fief. Can I fly my own banner? Only noble vassals of King Yaraglek have the honor of carrying their own banners. However, after some time, mercenary service... Yeah. Become his vassal, getting the right to choose a banner of your own and fight under it in battle. How much will you pay me for my service? And this is exactly what he's already told me. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll do it. Perfect. Of course, you shall have to make a formal declaration of allegiance and give your oath that you and your company will remain in service to the Kingdom of Vagers for a period of no less than one month. As you wish, your enemies are my enemies. That will do. You've made a wise choice, my friend. No, we're only at war with the Kurgit. Kingdom of Vagers does well by its loyal fighters. You will receive many rewards for your service. Now I suggest you prepare for a serious campaign, train and equip your soldiers as best you can in the meantime, and respond quickly when you are summoned for duty. Yes, yes, farewell. Well, well. It appears... Harold has evolved. He's no longer a simple bard. Harold is... A mercenary. Harold the mercenary. <laughs> yes. I changed the name of my party. I can recruit prisoners. I don't really want to. Bandits and the like. I have a mercenary company. I did it. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. We're not at war with them, so that's good. Yalbegi's really far away. Here's what we'll do. We'll stop at a Sargoth. Who are we at war with? Yeah. Just a Kurgit. Okay. Bound by truce not to attack the Nords for 39 days. That's great. No issues with the Rodox, despite the fact they took Revicheg. Was that not ours? Oh, we made peace with the Kurgit. And they're still paying me. <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. But yeah, we'll go to Sargoth, sell our wares, I suppose, rest up, meet people in the tavern. Oh, there's a tournament. Now I'll be right back. I do remember I need to give some gear to these people. A nomad vest should be slightly better than that nomad armor. I have nothing else to give you. But Jeremus, I do have things to give you. Take this crude nasal helmet. This ragged nomad vest, which I think is slightly better. Cracked Nordic shield. We'll go with you. I'll give you a sword in due time. Can you 
wield a bow, you cannot. Okay, take these arrows, I will eventually give you a bow. In fact, I may purchase one for you in Sargoth. Oh, you have a proper Nordic shield, actually. There you go. Some nomad boots. Oh, they're the same. Okay. Good enough. Yes. Yes. Not, not that. I want to see your skills. Power draw is zero. Strength is eight. Can't quite wield many things, but I plan on getting him some equipment. Just so he can handle himself to sell that. How much is a, a really bad bow? There you go, hunting bow. No power draw required. You can have that, Jeremus. 29. Not much at all. Oh, it, I already had this, actually. It appears. It's return price. Yeah. Yes, right? I think so. So I'll just get that and give it to him, since it doesn't cost anything. I don't really want to buy him a sword. I'll get one. Eventually, for him to use. Yep, okay. 61. It's quite expensive for something I already had. But so be it. Here's your bow. So now you have a bow and arrow. This pole arm is not going to do you much good. But you have a shield as well to defend yourself. I'll get you a sword eventually to replace that pole arm. And now it is time to participate in a tournament. I'll bet on myself. I feel, feel confident. Three teams with five fighters each. King Ragnar's in this. Ugh. This is no easy tournament, but I'm a mercenary now, no longer just a simple bard. I can do this. There you go. Aha! For the yellows! Oh, King Ragnar's on my side! Well, my king, we did it. Well, not my king, someone else's king. Oh, two teams. <laughs> Don't run so fast. Guys, I have a Jarl on my side. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, I took out like four guys there. And the Sword Sister. Good job on you, lady. Three teams, four fighters each. We got this, we got this. Don't charge into the yellows. Oh, they're getting us. No, no, no. Yellows. Engage them. Okay, that's perfect. No! <laughs> he got me from behind! I didn't even see her. Ah, I lost. Can I join again? Next day, maybe? Now? Okay, good. Because I, I plan on winning this. Okay, okay, guys. Strategy. No, guy. With me. Guy, with me. Get back here. Good, good, good. I need strategy to win this. Let's go. If the two of us stick together, we have a chance. Okay, so follow me. Whoa. No, no, no. Don't look back. Okay. <laughs> Guess you. I don't even need you. Two teams, two fighters. This is an even battle. Stop running so fast! Got one. Good job. Jarl, Harald, and Kratos knocked out. Mercenary swordsman, good job. Doing good stuff here. Two teams of five fighters each. You got this, guys? I believe in us. Okay, just hold on. Easy. Good job, guys. We did it. Two left. Okay, eight participants left. Champion fighter, two sword sisters, three regular fighters, and a mercenary swordsman. This is two teams of two fighters. Me and a mercenary. Don't run away! Okay, get him. Get him. Okay, we're both going on one-on-ones, apparently. I got mine. Yes, we both took our, our respective targets. 
Sword Sister, a regular fighter, and a mercenary swordsman. Two teams with one fighter each. Yes, it's just one-on-one -on -one battles now. Uh, can Harold win his first tourney? the duel. Got him. Take that. That. Take it. Take it. Finals. Let's go against the Sword Sister. And I have a two-handed weapon. I don't love them. Prefer a shield. But if it must be, the extra reach will do me well. <laughs> Harold the Mercenary. Victorious. You have won the tournament of Sargoth. You are filled with pride as the crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you earn the prize of 200 dinars. Moreover, you earn 4,182 dinars from the clever bets you placed on yourself. You're also invited to attend the ongoing feast in the castle. I'm rich! Guys, I did it! I'm rich! <laughs> uh, Harold, you'll, you'll feast tonight. What to do? Hmm... Do I want to buy myself something here? Maybe some better gear? Oh, can quite afford plate armor, but... Cool that it's there. Thick segmented helmet? Maybe, maybe. I'm thinking... Some gloves are about time. It's about time I get some. I could get myself proper gauntlets, but those are expensive. Huh. That's really good. For 400 only. Okay, I'll get these gloves. Throw in that b crack bassinet. Some greaves, maybe? Oh, some rusty male boots. Don't know that I want to throw away so much money for those boots, though. For an extra 9 armor. I was still looking at some sort of body armor, but it's very expensive for that. That's basically my whole tournament's winnings. I, I'm fine with the Bernie for now. Maybe get these. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, I'm all kitted out. Wasted only a thousand. There you go. Sway-backed horse. It's a little slower than he could be. Now that if you leave the horse out, eventually it heals, I think. I think that's... Is that in vanilla? Or is that in mods? I don't know. Clefy, here you go, you have better equipment because I have better equipment. Ah, oh, guess you can take these new boots. Put on you, Jeremus. You're gonna love this, my friend. Proper helmet, it's not crude. And some proper boots. And Harold the Mercenary is getting better every day. Some more strength. Actually, actually, more agility. And we'll add to athletics, because I'm very slow right now. Sell my wares. And, uh... Yellbeggy's still a ways away. I'm still a mercenary group, I think. I think. Should be. Don't think because the war ended. I can't be let go immediately, right? Well, anyways, that's where I'm going to leave this episode off. A lot more stuff was accomplished today than in probably the other first two episodes. We've become a mercenary. Harold has evolved into his second form. <laughs> Our army has gotten much larger, much better. We have a, quite a bit of Vagiers. A new companion, who hasn't even gone into battle yet. Quite a bit of new gear and a lot of money from my tourney win. And we're in a good position now, finally. Hopefully we can improve our standings with the Vagiers in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.